everybody. Welcome to Big Argue World. It is World today. Yeah, we're doing World today. We are on the world. I know. Um, I'm very confused with two channels. Welcome to Big Argue World. Happy New Year, darling. Happy New Year to you all. Happy New Year to everybody. We are going to do some fairly simple recipes for a few weeks to sometimes get rid of some stuff from Christmas. Yep. Um, but we've also got lots of other ideas that we've come up with recently. You've been looking through some old cookbooks in the time between the Twixmas time. I have. And uh, talking of Twix, no. well, we're not using Twix, no, but we are using, using chocolate today. We are going to make a chocolate tart. We are. So we're going to use up some stuff. So we've got some some decent milk chocolate you've used we've used in the think, chocolate mousse we did yeah dark milk yeah um but yeah everyone's got quality sort of street stuff. and quality all sorts. street um Dairy used milk. To be roses although roses now look boring they look like normal chocolates chocolates now um i would suggest you could probably even use the the cherry chocolate oranges again same thing really it's got to be solid chocolate really not ones with caramel in or those kind of things no they want caramel and you don't want white either no because white isn't chocolate no okay it's candy it so it doesn't melt, melt. Properly. yeah so we're gonna whip this together today i found this recipe while you were looking through books i'm on the internet i think always am yeah there's me with my book and yeah, there's him well, with his scroll right um i found like this that and yeah, like that. yeah yeah fair enough <laughs> double thumbs Double thumbs, yeah, typing fast. Um, I digress. I found this on the KitchenAid website. Yep. Um, obviously Hence, it's brought to you by... KitchenAid. Kitty yeah. and Betty. You can't see the other one at the moment, but yeah, she's named the uh, KitchenAid. So I don't think you can see that one yet. You'll see them later. Um, I bought these a few years ago when I had a bit of money. Many um, years ago. Many now, years actually. ago. And um, they, they will last forever. Ago. They're brilliant. So, Maybe eight years now. Eight years, blimey. And, and this and one they would have been used three times. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly was quite scared of this one at one point, so she hasn't used this so much, but the mixer has been used a lot. You're getting used to this one now, we're yeah. going to use it today. We are. So, thank you very much to uh, KitchenAid for making this recipe, and um, obviously we're going to promote them because, well, we got them. But we bought them normally. We didn't yeah, have a YouTube we, channel, not they were a lot of money. No, but if they'd like to send us new ones, there's some lovely colours out there. Yeah, we can do product placement. We can do product problem. placement, no problem. Um, we've got Warburton's bread over yeah, there. Yeah, Warburton's, if you want to get in touch, we love your crumpets. <laughs> yeah. It's a very easy recipe. It doesn't take very long to do the two stages. Apart from all the waiting apart in between. Apart from all the waiting in between. So I was thinking about this. Maybe it's the sort of thing you would just start in the morning. Thinking. And then by the evening you'll have it all done. Yeah. Or you kind of do part of it one day and then do the rest overnight. Yeah, whichever way suits you. Whichever way suits you, suits you and floats your boat. So this is the first part. Um, we don't need the chocolate and stuff at the moment, so we're going to move that to one side. We don't need the mixer yet, but we do need the food processor because we are going to blitz up cookies. and smash up cookies. 500 grams of chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. Obviously, you could probably use shortcake biscuits. Lots of, lots of biscuits out there, the digestives. There's lots of things you've probably got in your um, boxes of... Biscuits, biscuits over yeah. Christmas. We bought these because um, they were on special offer. They were on special offer. There's two and a half bags. Two and a half two packs and a half of these. Packs. This yeah. is like the Maryland. Maryland. Yeah. yeah. Maryland I don't, I don't mind advertising because... product placement. Um, so kids love these anyway. Yeah. So there's 510 grams here. There's 500 now. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Right. So put them in there and um, smash them all up. And then while you're doing that, we're going to melt some butter. That's literally what we're going to do on this part. We're just making the biscuit base. Just like when you do with those cheesecakes and those kind of things, you're making a biscuit base. So we need to melt that as well. So 90 grams of butter, I believe, is going to be melted up. Pop that in the microwave while we're waiting. And just about half a teaspoon of salt. We're not sure where we need to put the salt in, do we? No, because we're using, we're using salted, salted butter. butter. Um, and we're using anchor today. So that is a bit stronger than a normal, saltier than a normal thing is what we get. So I would suggest don't bother, but it's only half a teaspoon if you want to put it in. Do you know what I've noticed though? What's that? I find anchor butter harder than Sainsbury's own butter, but at the moment, because it's so horrible and cold, none of the butter's melted. No, it's impossible, isn't it? You leave it out like you're supposed to, and it's still brick hard. Can't, can't butter bread with it, they'll probably make big holes in bread. No, I did that yesterday when yeah. I was trying to make your bacon sandwich. So, we're going to move this stuff out of the way, I'm going to eat the cookie, we're going to blitz this up. Pour your butter in. Did you name this one? This is Kitty, is it? This is Kitty the Kittenaid. Right. And what's the other one? Betty. Betty, because? Because it's a mixer and I called her Betty. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Betty the Peter, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> you didn't say that to have a, <laughs> a solid reason for naming it. You just yeah. said I could name it. Just a random name. Okay, so. Come bring, on, Betty. Bring Betty over. Oh, Jesus, she's a heavy girl. Right, so that lot goes in there. You don't need to see close-ups of this. We're basically smashing up biscuits and pouring butter in them. Come on. Mind you don't chop your hands off. Oh, there's a big bit there. Another big bit, yeah. 498 grams now. Okay. That's your melted butter. Pour that in. You work with that there, or do you want me to move up? That's fine. Spatula. You're going to want a spatula if I get every little oozy ounce of that out, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Knowing you. There we go. Lovely. There we go. Perfect. Hope that. Right. Now, it says use a flat beater. Yeah. Well, I think, remember rightly, you can check this. It says do it on speed one. Mix it slowly then, really. Mix it slowly with your with your own one. And just have one. Of, if you've got a flat beater, preferably, that's better than anything else. Just going to keep doing this now. It's just going to keep going round and round and round. Into the right, then, love. First of all, we don't need those anymore because it's not Christmas. No, it's not Christmas anymore. I'm actually, they're quite rude. I'm not actually sure what they're actually doing. No, me either. No. It was a bit of an impulse buy. <laughs> yeah, you got a smile on his face, I think. And, and then I looked, and her glasses is way down her face. So I'm good omen is what she's doing. Right. Okay. So. Can we crumb this up? I've done the crumb. It's a bit of a rustic crumb, it's got some large pieces in it, but again, that's not really going to be a problem because you're going to put it into a loose bottomed tin and then we're going to press it down with a spoon, back we of a spoon. Back of a metal spoon now. Yeah. Um, they didn't give us what size of tin, so what do we go for? 20, that's not a 20, 23 centimetre, love. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. Kelly started writing the details on the bottom of your. Oh, that is a really good idea, but you don't know inches to centimetres. No, like. I'm not very good at things like that. But it is a good idea. So I did ask you, do you have to grease this? But you're saying no, because that's greased. Yeah, basically. Okay. That's what I would say. Okay. I mean, we can grease it if you'd like to, but it's not essential. Know. Well, well, up to you. i tell you what we have got, but we could squirt around it. You've got that. Cake release. Cake release. We can try that. Which will work. I'm um, I'm just worried because obviously we don't have any more details in this. Right, the other thing about this is we're using a round tin. Yeah. So that will release a lot easier than if you were using a square okay, tin. Because you don't have corners. Right. So I would suggest that in theory, mm -hmm. this tart would be better in a oblong or square cake tin. Right, because you can cut it into slices. Yeah. But we don't have a loose bottom. You need a loose bottom because yeah. you need to push it out. Okay. We don't have a loose bottom square or oblong one. So that's why we're using the round one. Okay. Put on the list of things we need for the year. Another thing. Another tin. Another tin. Right, yeah. let me get the cake release and we'll Got do it. it just to be belt and braces. So we bought this cake release. Cake release. Got it from... Um, Lakeland. Lakeland, yeah. And apparently, you only need a very tiny, small amount. What would you do without Lakeland in the world? Hey. They could sponsor us too if they want. I thought I'd come around this side because it looked a bit different, different dynamic. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you want to do Titanic? Looks like we're doing bloody summer for now. <laughs> right. I, I promise you, we haven't even done the cocktail for the day yet. <laughs> we might get round to that in a minute. We'll right. see. That's so, done. I'm going with the crumbs. Put the crumbs in there. Again, because we didn't know what size, we could have an awful lot of crumb here. We'll find out. Yeah, but you've got, you have to compact it. So yeah, it so it looks be. like a lot, but um, we're just going to press it down and keep pressing it until it's pretty much flat. Right, everybody, we're back. And um, hopefully from the little bit of B-roll I've just shown you, you'll be able to see that this is the biscuity base. Compacted pressed. and forced up the edges to sort of make like... Yeah, make a rustic side. Sort rustic of. Rustic edge. Yeah. So this now goes in the fridge for three hours. We will um, see you in two hours and 45 minutes because we've got to make the ganache first. Yeah? Right. So we're going to pop this in the fridge. We'll come back. Yeah. See you in a bit. Bye. Yeah.
Well, we had to wait for you to get all your utensils out again. Peace, man. <laughs> it's, a peace, it's a peace pie. Right. Hi, everybody. Um, we are back. We are. Yep. Uh, we left it overnight. Okay. We, we did. Left, yeah. Here's your... Don't drop it, please. No, I'm not dropping it. Here's your um, base. Yes. Done. Nice and... Um, so it it, no? It's supposed to be three hours, but... We did. We ran out of time yesterday to do it. Really, we did, really. family stuff to sort out and things. So um, we didn't get around to it. So that's fine. Like I said, leave it overnight. It's okay. Now we're going to do the filling. We're going to do the ganache. Right. Yeah. So it's a chocolate ganache. So I'm going to sort out all this chocolate, which you've already seen in yeah. part one of the video. Um, you're going to warm I'm up some double warm cream. Up some double cream. So whilst you do that, three hundred mils off. Three hundred mils of double cream or heavy cream if you're in America, whatever they want to call it. That's why you got all the different spatulas out. We started this bit earlier and then suddenly found out that Kelly wanted about half a dozen spatulas and spoons just to heat up some cream. Um, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Yeah. And the butter from yesterday will go into that along with the chocolate. So I'm going to let Kelly sort that out while I start smashing start up chocolate. Smashing up this chocolate. Um, I suggest that you make the chocolate as small as possible. Well, yeah, you can't get much smaller than that. Not really, no. Piece. Like I said, you can use it with any chocolate. We've, we've got proper blocks of chocolate, but we're going to add a few of these as well from your various chocolate selection boxes, etc. this year. You need the butter, yeah? Yeah, butter. Everything else apart from the cream goes in here. So it's your cold butter. Again, as we've already said previously, the description below will have all the ingredients etc all the chocolate at the same problem again can never get that bottle open there you go thank you teaspoon of vanilla extract yep all goes into here there's probably a different way of doing this but again like we said yesterday um, in this video it's, it's not being sponsored by KitchenAid but it does come from their recipes on their website so um they want you to do it all in a kitchen aid fair enough makes sense you're looking now thinking i want enough aren't you now i want that maybe i'm wrong but i always thought vanilla extract had little bits of vanilla in it mm, well but this didn't seem to have that that's why i just checked it's a good one but there's no reason I why i shook it, it to should. see that if in case it's set, like settled Now you've seen us um, melt chocolate before, but we've got a different way of doing it. Um, their idea is that you pour the uh, supposedly fairly hot milk onto it and it'll melt. Cream, it's cream, my Curry love. Cream, um, and it'll melt. We'll see. The idea is once you put that in here, you leave it for two minutes, and then you put it on a number one. To whisk it up. Whisk, so they say. We'll leave it as long as it takes for this lot to melt. So we shall come back when we're ready for that point. Okay, we're back, back in the room. Cream is done, it's hot but not boiling. Um, we're just gonna pour it into the chocolate, vanilla and butter mixture. I'm gonna take Carefully, that off Carefully, yeah, I'm gonna take that off and maybe do it that way. Again, we've, we've gotta use a KitchenAid because it's their recipe, but Ideally, you could just put this in any mixer. You can put it into a bowl and just use a hand whisk, like kind of got there, a balloon whisk. You still do the same thing. The idea now is, according to them, um, you just leave it in there and let it sit for two or three minutes. Hopefully by then, the chocolate will have melted enough that you can start whisking it, whisking it up. So we're gonna clear this stuff away. We're gonna move that over, give yourself some space. Yep. Right, I'm just gonna film this to show people what it's like. But what did you just say? So there's not really much to film. All there is, is a load of chocolate having a bath in double cream. In double cream, hopefully um, loosening itself up. Getting very relaxed to relax chocolate. Yeah, well the butter's obviously melted, so. Yeah, it's a good start. Have, a... Have your cup of tea a minute and we'll come back yeah. to this. See, relax. Relax, relax absolutely. So, after I gave it a little stir just to get the uh, serious amount of chocolate in this there right is. at the bottom so that it could actually melt it's looking a bit more chocolate you know yeah i'm going to start doing it gently okay 
So it says on a speed one. So yeah. basically you left Just it two or three minutes off. and then you leave it on number one. And um, eventually it will go into a glossy chocolate ganache. Mm. Is that what Yeah. Looks like chocolate milk right now. Sticking in though. But it'll get there. Yeah, it won't take long. So because this is going to set in the fridge, you don't need to whip in air, which is no. why you're mixing it on such a slow speed. Exactly. So you can do it by hand, as John said, if you don't have a mixer, just put all of your bits and pieces into like a, a mixing bowl and pour your cream on and mix it by hand. But don't go mad. Or you can use an electric whisk, but again, keep it to the very minimum. Yeah, you're, you don't you're want amalgamating air. everything, you're not making a big airy mousse. And you want the filling to be silky, not full of bubbles. That's right, and it is. So there we go. Look at that, perfect. Looks good to me. So take off that bit. And Here then goes the audio. Fine. I'll sort it. So take your rustic tart and case, pour in and pour in that. I have to admit, I was worried that there would be far too much liquid and there wasn't enough depth in the tart, but actually... I did tell you! Yeah, you did. Oh, you of little faith. That spatial awareness thing going on again. That looks pretty good. And that will all smooth itself out in a second. Right then, darling. So, we're going to put this in the fridge. Um, we may come back and give you a taste test. We may just basically show you a picture. But... That's you open the it. fridge for me because this is... Take your time, be careful. Yep, so that's in the fridge. Let's do an ending. That, my friends, is it. That's that it. is yep. a New Year's chocolate tart. Tart, as opposed to a Christmas chocolate tart that we did earlier. Exactly. Already. So please subscribe. Please, please hit, hit the notification, notification bell. bell. Do all those things. Tell everybody else all about us. We've got a lot of stuff coming up. We have. At the moment, we are using things up that we have had from Christmas, well, hence the chocolate. Like a lot of you will be. Um, but we've got some good recipes coming up. Yep, lots of nice wintry comfort in there stuff coming as well. A couple of stews and some really nice puddings and things coming. Yeah. Um, plus a few cocktails, as always. Absolutely. As always. And I'll be on adventures, so we'll be testing a few different things in the odd burger and stuff, as we've done at the start of the channel. Absolutely. Get ready for 2023. It's coming with a bang and it's already here and going to wipe us out, probably, no, no? Well, we'll see how we go. Yeah. Anyway, thank you all for joining us. I hope you enjoy your chocolate tart. We will show you a bit later on a plate. Yeah. Um, and we'll let you know what it tastes like. So, see you all again soon. Bye for now. Bye, everybody. Okay, darling, what are we doing? Okay, so it's been in the fridge for three hours three or hours so. Three hours, probably, yeah. So we'll take a slice out of it. Three hours is enough, my love, right? It's got a little bit of a wall going on there. I think it would be perfect. I don't think it's set solid. No, it's the base is hard. Which is expected. Yeah. Looks go. really good. Right then, darling, forgive the wonky video. I'm doing this with a little handheld camera. Give it a try. Looks good. We've had a little bit of cream just for the effect. Yeah, it's going to be, the bottom's going to be firm. That was expected. It's more about the ganache, I think. Mm. Look good. It's silky. Silky. Mm. Mm. I like the biscuit underneath. The biscuit is a nice Both contrast. Good. Both good. Yeah. Give this one a try, everybody. It's actually an easy recipe. Just takes a bit of time waiting around. But I think it's worth it, don't you? Mm. Nod your head, love, we're going. Worth it. Bye.